Awesome. Frank. Yeah, Frank. Exactly right. Nice to meet you. I can't remember last time we met. Yeah, um, probably I remember the short one in this. Long, long time. <laughs> yeah. The guy oh, had wow. the phone book. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. <Yeah. laughs> what is this? Did somebody change the chairs out here? <laughs> we got the high chairs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, God. All right. So, Arnold, the way that this is working, uh, we have an audience live uh, yeah. around the world yeah. uh, um, just uh, tuning in, listening to all the great chiropractors coming on the show. And uh, you're one of them. Uh, so, so we're going to just chit-chat with you. Uh, guys, this is a, a spur, spur of the moment. Uh, so this is, this is going to be great because people are going to be walking by uh, even tomorrow, and we're just going to grab them, come on on, and, and have conversations with them. So this is all bonus that we're having right now. That's right. And mm -hmm. Dr. Frank, uh, you know, the folks that are watching us right now around the world, uh, please don't be selfish. Share this information. I mean, we got one eminence in chiropractic after another, and you have this opportunity without even traveling all the way to the uh, Colorado here in the United States of America. You have the opportunity to pick their brains. You can uh, live chat right now with Dr. Han. Whatever uh, question you have, inquietude, as we say in Spanish, or you know, inquiry, inquisition, inquisition, you can uh, you can inquire about, and uh, and I know that each and every one of the speakers that we have, uh, even uh, uh, mini me over here. <laughs> yeah, wh wh what happens? What happens? A phone book. I mean, right. Really? <laughs> Jesus. You know what? They, these are abundant people, and they're more than happy yes. to share that abundance with anybody who's who's uh, watching and listening right now. Please. <laughs> Do, do yourself a favor, do this profession a favor, and share this on your social platform. Let people know what's going on right now, and, and let's all get connected here and, and, uh, and again, uh, get this thing called Tick out to the world, Teaching Innate Chiropractic. Uh, Absolutely. Let me give that link to everybody. Yes. So the link is ifcochiro.org slash live. And just share that link on your Facebook page or your social platform, Twitter, and uh, we'll be able to get more folks that who are connected with you who are not connected with us because I know we've been doing a great job sharing it ourselves, but we don't know everybody. So you guys do it as well. That's true. I do have 5,000 friends on Facebook, but, yeah. I, but I will tell you, there's, what, over 100,000 people in the profession, so we, we, I, I'm only getting to a, maybe a 20th of those. And, you know, yeah. they've changed their algorithm now uh, on right. Facebook. So. We're, we're even more challenged with that. Oh, yeah. I hit 5,000 like a yeah. few years ago, and then that bitch dropped, and now I'm <laughs> coming back up. So. By the way, you like when I talk about algorithms? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, Liam, uh, yes. uh, if you wouldn't mind, let, introduce Arno. Okay. So, uh, we have Dr. Arno Bernier, uh, who, again, is an eminence in chiropractic. Uh, he has a seminar series, uh, Making Love to the Spine, MLS. It is absolutely phenomenal. If you've ever had the uh, blessing to be checked and adjusted by this man, uh, it is a, an experience where you actually feel like you've just connected with God. Uh, he's, a, he's a person that not only uh, can express and communicate the philosophy of chiropractic, but then he can take his hands and deliver those goods. And, and when he works on you, you know something really great just happened in your life. Uh, so it's a, it's a pleasure, it's an honor for me to uh, introduce Dr. Arnaud Bernier uh, to the IFCO television program. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much, Frank Thank and you. Liam, for having me. Uh, our pleasure, it's our pleasure. pleasure. So uh, if you can share with some of the folks, uh, let's go way back. How did you get into chiropractic? <laughs> wow. Uh, you know, when, when you asked that question of Jay, I mm -hmm. first immediately thought, how did chiropractic find me rather than me finding mm -hmm. chiropractic? And it truly happened through a motorcycle, what I call on purpose, because I don't believe that anything happened by accident. I had a motorcycle crash that led me to a chiropractor in France, and my fate was sealed that day. Right. Uh, I knew that that was my calling, my vocation, and I do not consider chiropractic, for me, a profession. It's mm -hmm. a vocation. Right. Uh, and as Jay very eloquently said it earlier, if you don't love it, get out of it. If right. you're not totally in love with it, then do something else that you're passionate about because you are robbing somebody else of the job that they could have. Yes. Uh, somebody else needs to take your place that is passionate and loves it. Absolutely. And, and, and Dr. Arno, you had a, an experience uh, where you basically got on a plane from France and, and went to a, a small area in <laughs> South Carolina called Spartanburg. <laughs> How did that happen? Well, I went from Paris, the city yes. of light, to Spartanburg, <laughs> South Carolina, uh, which was not exactly the city of light in 1973. I heard However, at the airport they had a guy playing the Deliverance too, right? The big, 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 when you got off the Deliverance, plane, was, uh, <laughs> and then you get picked up by people that have shotgun in the back, on the rack, on the back oh of the Oh my goodness, so you felt right at home there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it 
it was a cultural shock. Mm. However, how did that happen? I mean, how, how did uh, you make my, that? My happened? chiropractor Jean Belaval, uh, when I said, you know, this is this is my life. Uh, I find my calling. I find what I need to do. Mm-hmm. Um, where do I go? And he said, if you're going to go to chiropractic college, go to Sherman College. Mm. It is the only place in 1973 where you would learn pure chiropractic. Wow. And uh, so I got on a plane, um, went to GFK, then from there to, I think it was Newark, and then straight to Spartanburg. Mm-hmm. Then Reggie Gold picked me up at wow. about midnight wow. uh, right. in a wow. Citroën Maserati that he took pretty much <laughs> off the ramp coming on I-85. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and uh, then I arrived in Spartanburg, South Carolina uh, to find out that there was no college. It was the <laughs> idea of college. I mean, they thought, yeah, we're going to have a college. Yeah. And I also realized, because before Reggie Gold picked me up at the airport, I was waiting, and I had a phone number, and suddenly I realized I only have a phone number in my pocket. <laughs> I haven't seen a brochure. I haven't filled up an application. <laughs> and I flew from Paris, France, to Spartanburg, South Carolina. You know, South Carolina in French sounded so wonderful. <laughs> South Carolina. I mean, I was like a young kid, you know. I thought, yeah. I'm going to fall in love with every one of those women there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, but Southern anyhow, <laughs> what took place is I realized I only had a phone number in my pocket. That's how much, I guess, crazy I was, you know. Um, but so, so no application, passion, no anything. No brochure, oh nothing. Passion driven. Mm-hmm. Got to Spartanburg, and it was another month, month and a half before they rented an old Bell Telephone building on Main Street, yeah. and then we started building the classrooms. Mm-hmm. Wow. But the energy of the people that were there, the administrators, the future teachers, the prospective student, was so high that to me, I knew I was in the right place. And I have to say that I believe still today that that window of time from 1973 to 1977 before the CC came into the picture at Sherman mm-hmm. College that I received the very, very best chiropractic education that could be had at the wow. time, bar none except for the people that received it when BJ was alive. Wow. Right, right, wow. Were you uh, one of the first graduating classes, right? I was in the pioneer class, nice. but you gotta know, I got kicked out of school for six months for having a practice in my house. <laughs> you were adjusting my people, house. yeah. So, uh, you know, I, what I did, I left mm-hmm. school and right. I went to, uh, to Hilton Head Island mm-hmm. and I started practicing there for six months, right, right. obviously illegally. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh-huh. And then I returned to school finish my next following two quarter so i graduated two quarters after the pioneer class graduated right right so i was in i entered with a pioneer class mm-hmm. but i exited with a sec- yeah, third six class. months later yeah, yeah. It, it, arno you mentioned uh the cce there and i know oh. you've been you've been very active i saw you in washington mm-hmm. earlier in the year uh, uh i believe it was last year uh when the cce was up for their uh, approval by the department of education I know you've been working with Steve Tullius on this as well, Dr. Steve Tullius, another IFCO uh, member. What What is your passion? Uh, can you explain to us why you're so involved? Because it, it's a thankless job, number one. Uh, number two, it's a it's a job where uh, where it seems that many times all the cards are stacked against you. Uh, sometimes, as we say in the Jersey Mafia, the set is already in uh, before you know before things get to the table in a public environment. Why are you involved in the CC, the CC re- reformation and, and, the, and the, the reformation of chiropractic education in general uh, right now? It was a very, very bizarre moment. Uh, sometime in the winter a few years back, I virtually sat up in bed and I felt like something was speaking to me, like you got to get involved politically. And as Jed mentioned before, and, me, and I think also um, Scott Garber, you know, when you're passionate about chiropractic, the last thing you want to do is get involved politically. Right. And I virtually sat up in bed and something inside me called my soul, my spirit, whatever you want to call it, uh, my innate wisdom, uh, said, you got to get involved. And I got involved and I went at it with reckless abandonment. Um, and we, st- we founded MCQI, the Movement for Chiropractic Quality and Integrity, uh, in- 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 Integrity and Quality, or Quality and Integrity MCQI, yeah. Uh, and I have to say that it was three years, very intense, thousands of hours, uh, nobody pay you, uh, <laughs> and conference call right and left, meeting right and left. It was extremely demanding on me, uh, on my marriage, on my wife, uh, on my life. Uh, and I learned a lot. 
So what I think was accomplished, and I stated this year officially in January that I was stepping out of politics. Uh, I think that what needed to be done was done. And I know that my personal purpose is to be a spark plug and an igniter. And I ignited with Steve Tullius, we ignited something. We ignited an awareness within our profession that our profession was a sinking ship. And we ignited an awareness as to the factors involved that created this problem that we have. Um, and it also, what it did, it exposed, it brought an awareness to the whole profession, mm -hmm. but it exposed many of the players. There were many political players that, you know, sometimes were wolf in a sheepskin. Right. And they were exposed. And now I think the playing field is pretty clean. Everyone knows who is who and who is playing what. Um, and I think that was done. Um, and I feel very complete with it. I feel that it was a wonderful, uh, demanding, exciting three years, challenging. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about politics. Um, I learned that uh, if you watch the House of Cards, or if you watch Scandal, which I don't watch TV, but it's on Netflix, mm -hmm. so I got to watch it. <laughs> that that macrocosmos of what's going on in those shows about the politics of America is no different than the inner working of the politics of a profession. Agreed. It's dirty, uh, it's terrible, it's power hungry, it's financially driven, it's private interest driven, it is certainly not principle driven. Um, and I believe that, you know, Eventually, all of those systems have to collapse, uh, the same way that the English Empire collapsed because it was corrupt, uh, and it took a man like Gandhi to make it happen. Um, Martin Luther King put a dent in the political system in America. I believe something of that sort will happen. Um, as a result of that, uh, and you know, we are in the player of the play of the universe. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not making things happen. We are just contributing to the play of the universe. Uh, but as a result of those actions that Steve Julius and myself took over those years, I believe that an enormous amount of awareness was created, and now people seem to be stepping up into action. The sandbox, Mark Swerdlick, fantastic. Now the realm, uh, absolutely right on the money, taking the BS out of uh, the profession, uh, calling people out that don't have any pairs uh, in their pants, uh, and really allowing people to stand on the principle and be straightforward as to what is the identity of this profession, what is it that we deliver, and what is a simple message and offering that we have for the public. So I think there is a great awakening, and as was, it was mentioned before, like a renaissance, mm -hmm. a new birth. Uh, it's a new era, and I believe that Mile High will become the new consciousness of pure chiropractic. For a long time, pure chiropractic was more what was called the hate straight, right. very dogmatic mm -hmm. people. Uh, right. Nobody was right. This is a whole new consciousness. This is people that will embrace anyone and welcome anyone without judging them. However, they also know exactly where they stand. Right, right. right. You know, Arno, uh, we have a, a guest at home just uh, commented. Uh, oh, a few of them commented. Thanks for sharing, Arno. You're cut from a different cloth for sure. Uh, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. I appreciate you guys having this. We will change the world through tick. Nice. And, and then the last one, um, I agree with Arno about the politics in the country and the profession and hope that our side can organize and move forward. Uh, so we have a, quite a few viewers who are agreeing with you and, and, and are with you. And well, and, and I'll say one thing to the, the person that made a comment about mm -hmm. tick changing the world. I always felt that you want to change the world, you change yourself. You become a person of integrity, you person of, person of commitment, you clean up your act, and when that happens, the world around you change. And your contribution by your beingness mm -hmm. will be alone impactful. Right. Very much what just, uh, when you ask Dear about yeah. his practice, mm -hmm. how do you become successful in practice? And he said, you know, if you're passionate, you attract people. I believe the same thing. If you vibrate the principle of chiropractic, if you emanate that field of energy, you will create attraction. And actually, not that much communication is needed at that point. People get it by osmosis. People get it by transmission. Uh, so 
whoever was thinking of changing the world, change yourself first. <laughs> We're on <laughs> IFCO TV with Arnaud Bernier. And uh, guys, if you can share this on your uh, social platforms, uh, www.ifcocairo.org slash live, and uh, make sure everyone else knows that uh, we're, we're having great conversations. We're going to be doing that for a few hours tomorrow as well. Uh, and uh, Arno, so uh, where now the chiropractic profession, where do you see it moving forward? Where, uh, where do you see it moving <coughs> to? I think that with the awareness mm -hmm. and, and the rocks that was thrown in the pond, there is ripples. And now it's time to not be in a defense mode and fight against something, but created a whole new consciousness, uh, very well supported. And I have to say, I want to thank Mark Swedley for this, because I believe, and I haven't read his manual, but everyone that has read his manual say this is a rock solid manual on how to be successful, being in integrity, creating wealth for yourself while delivering a wonderful delivering a wonderful service. So now we have an upsurge and a renaissance of the principle of the philosophy. So many chiropractors are going back to the foundation to correcting subluxation and now have the tools through the wonderful help that Mark is providing to really be successful in practice on top of it. Um, Liam Schumel's vision seminar, Mile High, uh, there are ma many other platform. I understand uh, in Oklahoma they have focus. Mm -hmm. That's right. IFCO um, Global Summit. Yeah, Randy Bayes in Washington yeah, has sure. a philosophy meeting. I mean, there is all kind of thing happening, and I believe that when a profession has been deprived of the very food and the very soul of a profession for so long, people are now yearning for it, asking for it, wanting it. And I think that's that's the future. That's where it's going. And you know, Arna, you're so humble because you mentioned all those other people, but uh, you know, really, if I, if if you could talk about yourself and your program, the the MLS program, you know, one of the things that Dr. Komarik says, I've talked to Irene Gold about it, mm -hmm. is you know what's limiting our profession really from exploding right now is number one, we don't know who we are, what we're doing, or why, right? So the philosoph philosophical component, which I know you're a master of. Uh, but also that ability to deliver the chiropractic specific adjustment. And, and I know that your toolbox as far as uh, uh, delivering the, the specific scientific chiropractic adjustment is overflowing and, and you share that abundance with so many people around the world. Could you talk to us a little bit about the, the creation of the MLS program, where it's being offered and, and, and some of the benefits and, and, uh, that people can uh, obtain by, by receiving uh, instruction from yourself and your program. Okay, so for me, um, my, my, my system, my body is very sensitive and perceptive. So the way that it was adjusted by many chiropractors, not all chiropractors, but my many chiropractors, felt like a violation to my system. It was too brutal, uh, bringing the joint to a lock and then pushing into it. So out of my own experience, I decided that I was gonna adjust differently. I have to say that adjusting came very naturally to me. The first time I saw my chiropractor adjusting because he invited me to observe him in his practice, mm -hmm. I felt I can do this. This is like, I know how to do this already. Uh, and so it came to me naturally. And then I refined more and more my adjusting because as a result of the educational program as I was giving in my office, I attracted a lot of babies and children mm -hmm. and families. Wow. So you can't adjust an adult in a brutal way, in a traumatic way, and then tell them, bring me your baby. That's great. No. What a great point. So yeah. I adjusted them in a very honoring way, and then it was no problem. Like, of course, check my baby. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and I have to say that for those of you that are listening, on newborn baby, if there is a subluxation, I can adjust them and you will have a full audible, not just a little push, a mm -hmm. full audible. And the baby, because it's at ease, it's in a state of ease, the system is at ease, not brought to tension. The force is delivered with specificity and lightning speed, and then it's being received very well. So that's how MLS began. Yeah. And then I studied in Origile, Kapanji, Panjabi, uh, and the biodynamic of the spine. And understanding the biodynamic of the spine, I start to realize that it was all about visualization. So what we teach is, first of all, a truly professional training. I want to say to the audience, whoever comes to the seminar, they better get ready, because it will be like if you're a professional million-dollar athlete, tennis player, we're going to train you at that level. 
So you're going to be trained in an environment where there is no BS, there is no talking, you are training. But we are providing a pathway and a roadmap. And anyone that has taken the seminar knows the intensity of it. However, some people, and it's always the case everywhere, take it once and say, oh, I got it. I got it. I know how to play tennis. Right. You know, I had right. one one weekend session with Andre Agassi. I know how to play tennis. <laughs> BS. Right. The people yes. that have taken it five, six, seven, eight times and have moved to the next level get, they are getting it. And what's interesting is a common response that we have from chiropractor or the public that have been adjusted by those people is how, where did you learn how to adjust that way? So that's a common response we have. You, you so that's pretty much how it all happened. You, you know, we just had a comment, and now that you brought up Irene, Pam Jarbeau, you know Pam, right? Yep, yep. sure. She just recently had breakfast with Irene Gold, and you gave Irene Gold a spine check and adjustment. Yeah, and, and Reggie. And Reggie. And uh, Pam, or actually, let's see, uh, Irene said that it's a responsibility to always improve the art of chiropractic. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and you know, this is something interesting because I got that from my son. He said, look at skiing, look at martial art, look at tennis. It has always improved. Like the champion of 1970 could not even make it to Wimbledon today. Right. Mm -hmm. But our profession mm -hmm. from 1961 on was went pretty much on a decline. And now, thank God to Jack Kamari, thank God to Sue Brown, thank mm -hmm. God to Donald Epstein. Thank God to all of the people, and there's people that I know are working really hard at bringing the art of the specifics back. Thank God to all those people, it's taking a turn and climbing back up. And I hope now, and that's my deepest desire, and I share that with all of the participants at my seminar, is my goal is for you to make me look ridiculous. My goal is for every one of you to totally outperform, outdo, outcast what I have done and the levels that I'm at because that is what you know, needs to happen for a profession to climb. And also, I believe that's the responsibility of a teacher, not to keep the student down, but to allow the student to empower them to bypass the teacher. So that's, that's my vision, that's my goal, and I also feel that's the empowerment to a profession and to the chiropractors. Absolutely. So folks, you're, you know, you're listening and you're watching IFCO television, and uh, as Arno stated at the outset here, you want to make the change, you got to be that change you wish to see in the world. And I think the power of IFCO television is it brings you uh, people, uh, chiropractors from around the world that are um, experts at what it is they do. And they show you here that you have the opportunity to learn and improve your skills. And, and, and as Arno said, you'll watch the whole world start to change around you when you make that change within yourself. And so. We, you have the tools, tips, and strategies uh, available to you. Dr. Arno teaches uh, a technique in, in, in taking care of uh, human spines. Uh, Dr. Jay Komarik, an expert at taking care of uh, animal spines and, and, and spines in general. Uh, you have, uh, as he mentioned, Dr. Swerdlick, uh, showing you how to uh, be profitable in your business uh, of chiropractic so that then you could take that uh, though that level of abundance and, and actually be somebody that can make a change within the profession. You know, it's very difficult to get involved in politics of chiropractic. It's very difficult to get involved in participating in the schools in chiropractic if you yourself are in a, a lack mindset. You can't barely pay your bills. So all these opportunities are out there for you, but you have to take the first step and get in touch with these people and start uh, making those changes in your life. And then again, watch watch how the life changes yeah, around you. Scott Garber, who was just on before, showing you how to give back to the profession right. too. It's mm -hmm. pretty amazing. And that's what we're doing here at IFCO TV. We're trying to help give back to the profession in, in this way, bringing on the superstars of chiropractic uh, and to help you guys at home and give you reasons why not just to be on the other side of the camera. Come back, come out here to these special events that are happening throughout the country and now throughout the world too. Yeah, there's more and more events, and you heard uh, Dr. Mm -hmm. Arno talk about, you know, the epochs, the the uh, the focus, uh, the uh, dynamic essentials. You know, there's so many opportunities uh, to plug into chiropractic philosophy, science, and art that there's really no excuse uh, for you not to up your game and then become uh, one of those chiropractors that really make a difference in this world. Arno, have you had a chance to teach chiropractic in other countries? Yes, Japan, Argentina, Brazil. Uh, Italy, Spain, 
Wow. Uh, Canada. Yeah, so, we just had some uh, some students uh, reaching out to us on, mm -hmm. on IFCO television before at UQTR, which uh, you're, you're a special yeah, head of uh, there. I, I love that place. Mm -hmm. I love that place. Students, right? uh, the students are so open hearted. They are such, the culture in Quebec is all about humanity. Yeah. They are humanitarian at heart. So uh, because a big part of delivering the adjustment properly is to be in an open hearted space and to connect with a person, those people are a gem to work with. And it is a delight to go to Quebec. I just love it. You've also been over to Barcelona, and they just yep. they just graduated their first class. Uh, class. First so class. this is what we're seeing. We're seeing uh, TIC, you know, teaching in a chiropractic, start to flourish around the world. And, and we appreciate you, Dr. Arno, for uh, playing uh, a huge part in that in that process, that awakening that's taking place. Yeah. And, uh, and, I, and I need to say something, yeah. because it has been burning me while Jay was here. <laughs> you know, Jay has been a long, long Long time friend of mine. I mean, we were in New Hope, Pennsylvania together. Wow. We rode motorcycles together. We came out west together. Mm -hmm. But Jay, in sharing what he does, was so humble that people need to know that this man is the number one animal adjuster probably in the world, at least in the United States. And when you watch him work, you know that there is truly an intuitive connection between him and that animal. So. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. Jay was humble and he's humble, yeah. but you guys got to know this is a rocking, rocking yeah. star. Thank you for sharing that yeah. with us. We tried to draw it out of him the best <laughs> we could. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough. He won't talk about himself. And yes. that, that's what yeah. we want to know. We, yeah, yeah. He has so much brilliance mm -hmm. inside yeah. him. Like, just mm -hmm. show it. Just show it. Mm -hmm. No, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, Pam uh, said that the only. Uh, Irene said the only person she ever spoke about uh, for receiving adjustments was you. <laughs> Thank, oh, you. Great compliment. Thank you, Irene. Thank mm -hmm. you, Pam. Awesome, awesome. So, could you share with us um, how someone could contact you and maybe get to your one of your uh, events? Very easy on Facebook, mm -hmm. Arno A R N O Burnier, my last name, um, and then uh, MLS Seminars with an S dot com, uh, Zichi Z E E C H I, which is basically in French. You know, when I say the mm -hmm. G, which is a life force, it sounds like Zichi. So. <laughs> That's how it came Everything out. Everything you say sounds great uh, to Café me. Of <laughs> <laughs> Café of life .com, Café of life. Uh, and my email address is arno at f1.net. Phone spend with an f.net. We're, we're recording this also, Arno, so it will be rebroadcasted on our YouTube channel. So we have a YouTube channel where you can watch all of these videos if you missed any of them or want to go back and see some more. And it's uh, youtube.com slash IFCO Cairo, just like our website is. Uh, now, uh, Arno, uh, what's the event or the next event that, that you're having? Um, next event is uh, I'm back in October, I mean in September mm -hmm. through the fall uh, doing MLS in different cities. I'll be in Dallas at the end of September. Then I believe I go to Los Angeles, then Oakland, then Atlanta, then Trois Rivières, uh, and then back to Trois Rivières, and then Barcelona. Is that all up on your website? Yeah, it's all on the out? MLS uh, seminars.com. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what's that's what's happening. Okay. Uh, and I, you know, I don't want you to cut the interview yet. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. I, yeah. I want to give my well, deep yeah, appreciation go. to Danny Knoll for. Mm -hmm. um, you know, creating Mile High um, for Liam, for what he has been doing for the profession and Absolutely. bringing back chiropractic. You guys for interviewing us uh, mm -hmm. and doing the IFCO TV. Nice. And Thank you. Uh, I won't forget the Dark Lord. The Dark Lord. Uh, <laughs> the Mark Swerdlick, yeah. because truly um, that was needed. Um, and it's not politically incorrect, Dark Lord. It is politically correct what you're doing. So thank you. You're welcome. Uh, any last thoughts, Liam? I would just say, folks, uh, if you're watching the program, please, again, uh, do everybody a favor on this planet and share uh, on the social platforms that you're watching IFCO TV live. Uh, Frank, what is the, the connection for that? Yep, www.ifcocairo.org www slash live. And uh, please uh, consider joining the IFCO, the International Federation of Chiropractors and Organizations. Uh, and truly together we can be the change that we wish to see in the world. We must improve our ability to practice chiropractic. We must improve our uh, ability to be involved in the political process, to be involved in uh, uh, renovating the, the educational process. You know, Dr. Arno, one of the things that I, that I was saying uh, earlier this week, and I was on a conference call, 
was that, I mean, could you imagine going to mechanic school for four years and three of those four years learning floristry. I mean, there it, it, it would, it would, it would be an outrage. I well, mean, you know, there would be, it would be a class action lawsuit. That's so. what I mentioned in front of the Department of Education right. during the CC hearing. I say, you know, today, for, for in most schools, if not nearly all schools, uh, as a result of the impacts that the CC has had on the curriculum of those colleges, uh, it's, it's almost like dental student going to dentistry and not knowing about cavity kids go to school and they don't know about subluxation, they may have heard the term, in some school you can't say the term, right. um, and then on top of it, they don't even know how to, what to do with it. It was like, oh yeah, we have heard about cavity, but we don't do anything about it. Right. So uh, no, it has gone to a point that it, it has become ridiculous. So uh, it's time to make a shift. Yeah, so little by little we're making that shift. I will tell you, uh, there must be a French connection going on here right now. We have Dr. Arnaud Bernier, uh, Dr. Jay Comaric with the Algerian connection, and uh, Dr. Jack Bourla, another uh, world famous Algerian, has just uh, joined us here at, the, at Mile High. And so I'm sure we'll be hearing from him in a little bit, uh, Dr. Frank Hunt. But Dr. Arnaud, what a pleasure it's been to speak with you this afternoon. We appreciate you sharing uh, uh, to the worldwide audience here at IFCO Television. Thank you so much for all you have done for the profession and all you continue to do. We love and appreciate you. Oh, you are so and welcome. Thank you so much. You be go, before you go, the Dark Lord made a comment and he says, thank you, Arno. I, I love you and appreciate you. He got censored by the uh, chat box room, so I don't know what he said. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> Thank you, Dark Lord, for those comments. Yeah, uh, yep, absolutely. Yep. Uh, absolutely. Wonderful. And uh, so um, tomorrow, make sure you come back tomorrow for uh, we have uh, Donnie Epstein on tomorrow. Wow. We have uh, Joel Kinch. Uh, Holy smokes. The president of IFCO. Uh, Dr. We, Shane Walker. Dr. Shane Walker. Uh, and we have uh, something special on too. We have some students coming on from Sherman, from Parker, from Palmer, and they're going to take over the IFCO TV for a little bit as well, and I'm not sure what they're going to talk about, but they're going to have something good as well. I just have a quick comment about Donald Epstein. Okay, go right I ahead. believe mm -hmm. that Donald Epstein has been to chiropractic mm -hmm. what Einstein has been to physics. Oh, One of the most brilliant He has brought minds. a whole new understanding, a new, whole new paradigm, an awakening, with, and really an, an elevation of the art without deviating from the philosophy. Some people can argue he has mm -hmm. changed some terminology and so on and so forth. Right. Regardless, regardless, what he has brought to the, the profession is absolutely extraordinary. And anyone that has maybe a you know, tilt uh, in relationship to him, open your mind and listen to what he has to say tomorrow. It's a brilliant mind, absolutely a brilliant mind. We're going to do our best to draw that information out of him, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a challenge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much. Uh, guys, thank you at home for all your comments for Arno, uh, and uh, it was a pleasure, Arno. Yep, thank uh, you so much. Yep, Frank, yep. thank you so much. Liam, Thanks. love you, man. Love you too. Thank you so much. <laughs>